Toshiba Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation E-Learning Basic Knowledge of Discrete Semiconductor Device Chapter 5 Optical Semiconductors Isolators and Solid State Relays This video explains the types of isolators and solid state relays including photocouplers and their characteristics. Types of Optical Semiconductors The types of optical semiconductors are as follows. 1. Light Emitting Device Visible Light LED, Infrared LED, Ultraviolet LED, Laser Diode 2. Light Receiving Device Photo Sensor Solar cell, CMOS sensor. 3. Composite device, combination of light emitting element and light receiving element alignment. Photocoupler, fiber coupler. Light emitting principle of LEDs. A light emitting diode, LED, emits light by applying a forward current to the PN junction of a compound semiconductor. When forward current is passed through the light emitting diode, carriers, electrons, and holes move. The holes in the p-type region move to the n-type region and the electrons in the n-type region move to the p-type region. The injected carriers recombine, and the energy difference before and after recombination is released as light. The emitted light depends on the energy band gap, e.g., of the compound semiconductor. Remark: Conventional silicon diodes do not emit light because the recombination energy becomes thermal energy. The Wavelength Range of LEDs the LED emits ultraviolet light to infrared light with various wavelengths. This emission wavelength is expressed by the following equation using the energy band gap, e.g., of compound semiconductor material. Lambda, nanometer, equals 1240 divided e.g., electron volt. Larger e.g. materials emit shorter wavelengths, and materials with smaller e.g. emit longer wavelengths. For infrared LEDs used in television remote controls etc., gallium arsenide is the material used, for red to green indicator LEDs, gallium phosphide or indium gallium aluminium phosphide is used, and for blue LED, indium gallium nitride or gallium nitride is used. What is a photocoupler? Photocoupler A photocoupler is a device incorporating a light emitting diode, LED, and a photo detector in one package. Unlike other optical devices, light is not emitted outside the package. The external appearance is similar to that of non-optical semiconductor devices. Although a photocoupler is an optical device, it does not handle light, but handles electrical signals. Examples of a photocoupler's operation. 1. The LED turns on, 0 to 1. 2. The LED light enters the phototransistor. 3. The phototransistor turns on. 4. Output voltage changes 0 to 1. 1. The LED turns off, 1 to 0. 2. The LED stops light emission to the phototransistor. 3. The phototransistor turns off. 4. Output voltage changes 1 to 0. Why are photocouplers necessary? In the photocoupler, the primary side, LED side, and the secondary side, light receiving device side, are electrically insulated. Therefore, even if the potentials on the primary side and the secondary side, even ground potential, are different, the primary side electrical signal can be transmitted to the secondary side. In the inverter application shown in the figure on the right, a controlling unit such as a microcontroller operates usually at low DC voltage. On the other hand, IPMs and IGBTs drive loads that need high voltage such as 200 volt AC. High voltage system parts can be controlled directly from the microcomputer via a coupler. Various output types of photocouplers are prepared according to your needs. Types of photocouplers An LED is used for input of the photocoupler. On the other hand, various devices are used for output. Transistor output a phototransistor is a detector. Darlington type is also available. IC output. There are products using photodiodes as light receiving devices, output products such as logic, products with high current output for gate drive driving of IGBT and MOSFET, and high function products such as isolation amplifiers. Triac and thyristor output. A photothyristor or a phototriac is used for output. They are mainly used for control of AC line. Photo Relay, MOSFET Output The photovoltaic array, photodiode array, drives the gate of the MOSFET to turn the output on and off. 
By this operation, it can be used as a relay switch of MOSFET output. Types of photocouplers, packages. Photocouplers are required to have a package shape and dielectric strength based on safety standards. When designing in accordance with safety standards, you need to check the following items. Creepage distance of isolation. The shortest distance along the surface of the insulator between two conductors, primary and secondary. Clearance. The shortest distance between two conductors measure through air. Insulation thickness. The minimum distance of insulator between two conductors. Isolation voltage. Isolation voltage between two conductors. In the case of UL, the AC voltage that does not break the insulation even if it is applied for one minute is specified. Products with isolation voltage ranging from 2500 volt RMS to 5000 volt RMS are mainstream. Types of photocouplers, internal structure. Photocouplers have various types of internal package structure because of various restrictions such as required insulation performance, package size, and size of internal chip. Transmissive type and single mold. Frame mounted LED and frame mounted photo detector face each other in the same molded package. Silicon resin is used for the optical transmission part between LED and photo detector. Transmissive type and single mold with film. To raise isolation voltage, polyamide film is inserted between LED and photo detector. Transmissive type and double mold. In this transmissive structure, inner mold is white and outer mold is black. Resin with high infrared light transmittance is used for white mold of the optical transmission part. Reflective type. Frame mounted LED and frame mounted photo detector are on the same plane. LED light reflected in silicon resin reaches the photo detector. Thus, it is called reflective type. Safety standards of photocouplers. When mounted in electrical equipment as a means of isolation to protect the human body from electric shock, photocouplers may be subject to various regulations in terms of safety standards. Various regulations and standards for ensuring safety exist. From the perspectives of design and manufacturing, safety standards can be categorized into equipment standards and component standards. Equipment standards are the basis for designing and manufacturing equipment. Equipment standards differ according to equipment type, isolation method and its class, driving voltage, etc. Component standards specify measurement methods or specifications of the isolation voltage etc. for photocouplers. Characteristics of photocouplers, current transfer ratio, CTR. Current transfer ratio of transistor coupler. It is expressed by the amplification ratio of the output current with respect to the input current like the transistor HFE. Principal characteristics of photocouplers. Trigger LED current. Trigger LED current is specified for products that perform binary operation of output on and off such as IC coupler of logic output, photo relay, and triac output coupler. Trigger LED current means LED current that triggers change in the status. IFT, IFLH, IFHL, etc. are used as symbols. The trigger LED current indicated in the data sheet is the value specified by the product. For stable operation, the designer must design so that at least the trigger LED current, maximum, flows. Aging variation data of photocouplers. The optical output of the light emitting element, LED, decreases with the passage of time. In photocouplers, aging variation of optical output of LED is more dominant than that of optical receiving devices. Therefore, the designer needs to estimate the decrease in the light emission level using the data of aging variation of the adopted photocoupler. The designer calculates the light output change of the LED from the usage environment of the equipment to be used in the total operating time of the LED. It is necessary to reflect this value in the initial value of forward current IF, of the LED. For example, when duty, time duration of light emission is 50% and working hours are 1000 hours, total operating time is calculated to be 500 hours. How to use a photocoupler? Design example of signal interface using phototransistor coupler. The figure below shows an example of an interface circuit that converts a 5V signal into a 10V signal using a phototransistor coupler. How should we design the resistor RN on the LED input side and the resistor RL on the phototransistor output side? And how should we select CTR of the phototransistor coupler? 
we will explain from the next page with the following steps. Step 1. Design of LED input current IF and input side resistor are in. Step 2. Calculate output current from IF and CTR. Step 3. Design of output side resistor RL. Step 4. Check each design constant. How to use a photocoupler input current. Step 1. Design LED input current and input resistor are in. What is the input current, IF, of the photocoupler? It is determined by, 1, input power supply voltage, 5 volt, 2, current limiting resistor, RN, and, 3, forward voltage, VF, of LED. From the specification example, determine the current limiting resistor and the input current, IF. How to use a photocoupler output current. Step 2. Calculate output current of the phototransistor from IF and CTR. What is the value of the photocoupler's output current, IC? Calculate the variation of the output current, IC, at the input current, IF, equal 10 mA from the current transfer ratio, CTR equal IC, IF. From the ICIF curve, you can see that IC equal 10 mA. At IF equal 5 mA, VCA equal 5 volt, TA equal 25. So the CTR of this sample is 200%, which is the same value of minimum BL rank, 200% to 600%. Also you can see that IC equal 20 mA. At IF equal 10 mA, VCA equal 5 volt, TA equal 25. Next, we derive RL using the value of IC obtained here. In this calculation, design the value of RL so that VCA becomes saturation voltage even at the minimum value of IC. How to use a photocoupler output side resistor. Step 3. Design output side resistor RL. Determine RL from the IC, VCA characteristics of the output transistor. In order to use for signal transmission, it is necessary to fully satisfy the L level of the device connected to the load side. Here, we set VC equals 0.3 volt as the target value. When IF equals 10 mA, VC equals 0.9 volt at RL equals 1 kilo ohm, which is insufficient. At RL equals 2 kilo ohm, VC equals about 0.2 volt, which satisfies the target value. Therefore, choose RL equals 2 kilo ohm. In actual design, the impedance on the load side must also be considered. How to use a photocoupler check. Step 4. Check each constant. Consider whether there is sufficient margin for operating temperature, speed, lifetime design, tolerance of resistor, etc. Confirmation of lifetime of the set. The optical output of the input LED of photocoupler decreases with the passage of time. It is necessary to confirm that the characteristics are satisfied, for which purpose this deterioration during the lifetime target of the set must be included. The aging variation of the optical coupler can be calculated from input current, IF, and ambient temperature, 